Welcome to our lecture online. If you ever have the urge or maybe the need to go from the y from the y form into the delta form, then you can do it as follows. So instead of starting from the delta and going to the y, it's called the delta to y conversion. We're now going to do a y to delta conversion. But in other words, we want to be able to find ZA, ZB, and ZC in terms of Z1, Z2, and Z3. The way that's done is as follows. To find ZA, that is equal to the product of every combination of Z1 and Z2. So we get Z1 times Z2 plus Z2 times Z3 plus Z1 times Z3. And we're going to divide that by the impedance that's directly across on what we're trying to find. So since we're trying to find ZA, the one directly across would be Z3, and that goes on the denominator. ZB can be found again, taking the same numerator, Z1, and we divide the whole thing by the impedance directly across from ZB. So we ZB here, the one directly across is Z2. And finally, ZC can be found by taking Z1. Notice the numerator never changes, just the denominator. Again, we're looking for the impedance directly across ZC. So ZC directly across would be Z1. And this is how we go from the Y to the delta, just in case you want to know how to do that.